we walked in night and the moonlight. During day, we sleep or the height under the rocks and the bushes. My mother or my father carry me. And it's all snow. Tibetan life is always a festivity. Just a happy, always a singing. We were just playing in the courtyard or with the neighbor's kids. My dream is that I wanted to finish school, seeing the nurses with their white hats in the hospital. I just love those things. And I say someday I want to be that. It was a very beautiful life. Never occur to me. Chinese people are harming us. Never occur they are our enemy. I lost my dream. I have no idea, but parents arranged my marriage. My husband was from America. I was so angry. Losing my country is one thing, and then it's losing your family is another thing. We flew to Kathmandu, from Kathmandu to Delhi, New Delhi to Hong Kong. I say to my father goodbye. My English is very limited. I was doing a lot of mantra, a kind of praying. When I arrived in Berlin, and then I saw my husband. This is the chapter I will live in. Living in this country, we build our family. I say, no matter what, before I die, I'm going to get GED. I'm not going to give up. I got more than GED. I got my uh, associate degree. Tao tan doa nam ge ta tan yam be sim jin tam je tu. We are losing the Tibetan culture, and we don't have a country. My duty, keeping the culture alive, because uh, from my generation, if we don't take care of it, next generation will lose it. When we had the opportunity to build the cultural center, and His Holiness has visited, and that's the happy moment. And then I told the people, you know, I say, my dream is achieved, and now I'm I'm good. <laughs>